Hey guys, so after Agwa, we went to Ranthambore from Delhi by Jan Shatabdi train. And it was an okay kind of train. Even though it said it was air conditioned, the air conditioning wasn't working that well. And after six hours of train journey, we reached Ranthambore. And it was evening by then. And this is the Savai Madhapur station, Ranthambore, Rajasthan. And as you can see, everywhere once we reached Ranthambo, everywhere it was beautifully painted uh, tigers and nature. It was just beautiful to look at. From the station, we took an auto to our hotel and the auto charged us 150 rupees. The auto there is kind of expensive. And then we reached our hotel late in the evening and this is our room the room is pretty simple clean and nice there's an ac also uh, provided and fan is there and the bathroom is pretty clean and big as well so it's good and everything is very pleasant especially the outside when you look outside it's just beautiful so after we freshened up we went for dinner and for dinner we had to go downstairs um, and the man takes our order a few hours in advance so we decided to go for shahi paneer uh, and some simple roti and the food over there is all vegetarian and feels home cooked delicious and the next day we decided to get our tickets ourselves for the safari ride so we again took an auto for 120 rupees to the ticket counter and this is the ticket counter i would advise you if you can go through the crowd then uh, it's much more cheaper when you go to the tourist center to get your tickets so in the end we decided to go for canter and for the canter we were charged 880 rupees each so a great thing about the safari jeep and the canter ride is that once your ride gets over you can just tell the guy to drop you at any hotel place that you're staying at so we told our canter guy to drop us at our Watika resort once the safari ended once we start the canter the canter stops at a place where you can have a rest stop go to the loo and take a leak before starting for the actual safari ride that way you don't have to worry about trying to find a bathroom in the jungle so once the trip started we noticed that you are allowed to bring in some kind of food in case you feel like snacking while going for the safari ride so in case you want to bring a fruit or something you can we noticed loads of different kind of animals and it was just a lovely ride altogether. and it was sunny as well so if you're going for an evening ride don't forget to bring your sunglasses and over there as you can see if you look very closely you can see the crocodiles and over here you can see other animals as well so it was just lovely and I feel this is much more better compared to a zoo because inside a zoo every animal is caged up and they look very sad but if you go for a safari ride it's just it's very nice because you can see the animals are also pretty happy because they are in their own zones. The whole ride can become very bumpy and very windy as well and dust flies so make sure you bring a hair tie along in case you have long hair and I've seen few people wearing face masks to protect themselves from dust so you can do that as well. So we kept on going to different locations trying to spot a tiger because obviously you go to Ranthambo when you need to spot a tiger. and. Uh, Whenever we went and passed by the canter and the jeep, they kept on um, asking each other if they've seen a tiger and so far we haven't. Uh, and as you, over here is one of my favorite spots in Ranthambo Safari, right? It was just beautiful and serene and we were just enjoying the whole view and there were loads of exotic birds over there. So if you are into bird watching, definitely come to Ranthambo. So we were just waiting at the lakeside for I'm guessing 20 minutes just enjoying the view and waiting for a tiger to come but so far a tiger hasn't and 
over here you can see those two guys fighting I don't know for what but they were fighting over there so that was pretty entertaining to watch and then we move to another location again waiting for the tiger to come but so far haven't but this little birdie over here he is the cutest bird I've ever seen it's one of those exotic birds I forgot the name but in case you know please do comment down below this birdie if you feed any kind of fruit the bird will come to your hand and will take it and then go away after a few seconds so it was pretty cool to watch that and definitely the highlight of the trip so far so in the end we kept on waiting and waiting and waiting for a tiger to come but so far a tiger hasn't but it was still pretty nice we enjoyed the whole nature view and the animals just in their zone very comfortable and happy and then once we were just passing by and going back uh, to the exit gate area and that's when we spotted a tiger but it was very far away but we managed to get a glimpse of it from very far away so it was pretty nice and over there it was pretty chaotic and that's the tiger if you look very closely that's the tiger just going far away so while our safari trip was about to end we spotted a tiger so it was pretty nice and we kind of felt lucky to at least get a view of the tiger and then we went back to our resort the Ranthambo Watika resort in Ranthambo and as you can see it's just so beautiful and we really enjoyed our stay over there just full of greenery and beautiful flowers and plants all over it was just lovely and we really felt relaxed over there and this is the view from our first floor room balcony as you can see and that's the exit gate for outside the resort and it's a great place if you want to just chill relax and read a book so the next day we decided not to go for the morning safari we, we thought let's just go for a little walk and explore the sh little shops over there so that was pretty nice but uh, do be warned the roads are very dusty so your feet might get dirty so be careful about that and the first store we went to was the dust car craft shop uh, and it was pretty nice. I bought something from there that I forgot to show you guys. I might just do a different haul together, a haul video regarding my travel shopping. And then this is another store we went to over here. This store I highly recommend because over here you will get a fabric selection if you go to the first floor. They have just lovely fabric selection and uh, I just wanted some cheetah print pajamas and great thing over there is that you just need to buy the fabric and the tailoring is um, for free so they make tops dresses and all if you buy fabric from them so i decided to get some a pair of pajama made so i picked this fabric up the leopard print one and then after that we went to the craft house uh, store and that was also pretty interesting because this store had very nice vintage travel books uh, these kind of books you can't find anywhere especially online uh, as well you won't be able to find it these are some classic authors if you just pause and just read the name of the books you will see that there are some classic books out there over here in the store and even the Rajasthan and Delhi Jaipur books are in French and Dutch language so and it was surprisingly the great thing is that these books were reasonably priced so the last shop we went to was the village women craft store and over here you can see the village women uh, making these beautiful handiwork just beautiful craft work for saris and uh, wall hanging and cushion covers that these women do it's just beautiful the only thing is that we found that the store is 
turned out to be very expensive the same stuff that we found in other stores over here it was more higher priced so do be careful about that in case you want the cheaper version and over here there's a wide selection of carpets as well which are made over here in Ranthambore and just beautiful rich quality carpets over here and then you are going to find some hand work as well for the paintings some very beautiful painting work of tigers and other animals but mostly tigers and you can see the artist over here uh, just painting a tiger just beautiful it was very nice to see the work face to face but one thing for sure the whole place had lovely wall art and this was our last day in Ranthambore so the next day early in the morning we had to catch a train for Delhi so we went to Savai Madhupur station again taking the auto we asked our hotel guy to get an auto for us so he did that and this is the beautiful station everywhere and beautiful wall art of tigers it was just beautiful to look at and we were just waiting for a train and the train was kind of 15 minutes late and we took the same train for Ranthambore to back to Delhi as well and our train arrived finally and by that time it started raining as well so we were very glad that the train arrived overall the whole trip was just lovely and thank you so much for watching this vlog if you're new to my channel then please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel it would really mean a lot to me and thank you so much for watching and don't forget to comment down below take care